Barris from MSA. John's brought over the latest line of MSA gas detection meters. And as you all know, MSA, being one of the largest manufacturers of meters out there, has been the leader in the industry for a long time. So, John, thanks for coming by today. I appreciate it. What'd you bring us? Tom, I will extremely exciting in terms of monitoring for in the fire departments. What I'm going to show you today is our latest line. It's the Altair line of uh, instrumentation. Um, we're going to take you through the simplest, a single sensor instrument, to multi-gas instrumentation, kind of give you a feel of what we're trying to do in terms of technology. Let's start with just a our CO Altair Pro. Um, it is a CO instrument, does nothing more than that. Perfect instrument for a fire department um, to do seal calls. So we're starting out with our simplest instrument here. This is the bread and butter of the fire service, as you guys know. There's a lot of times firefighters that are going out with their CO meters on simple calls, especially in the state of Mass. Uh, I'm being told i got to move, uh, move this way. Can everybody still see us? <laughs> good symbols, fellas. Go back to the meter. We're good to go. Yeah, simply, um, you know, single button operation, you hit it, it's got a lot of durability built into it. Literally, it's built, been built for a 10-foot drop, which is, there's nothing like it in the industry itself. Um, less than $200 uh, built to have, it's a direct reading instrument for CO, fantastic. Now that's capable of being turned on, off, calibrated, and everything else, correct? It fully maintainable. You can do exactly that. You it's not a throwaway it. meter. It's not a throwaway meter. Um, you will be doing your own sensor replacement if you feel so, the need to do so. Second instrument we like to talk about is the Altair 4. Multi-gas instrument, the 4 portion of it really um, allows you to do up to 4 gas. Those gases are typical, and it's typical for fire departments to be a 3 or 4 gas meter. Those gases are confined space monitoring gases. It would be O2, combustible gas, gases, um, CO, or a directory for H2S. Okay, and this is, again, on most fire apparatus out there, a lot of departments carry at least one multi-gas meter. Typically, it's a four gas, as we all know. And there is that four standard gas package that we're always grabbing. Now, what makes the Altair 4 stand out a little bit different than what's out there today? Um, what we try to do at MSA is really three things. So we, we feel like if we do these three things, we'll have best-in-class type monitoring. We want something that is easy to use. We want something that is very reliable. And then the durability factor is very, very important. In today's world, you're dropping instruments, and you can be dunking them into water, pools of water. This uh, kind of, as, far, as far as durability, if I can, I can cut in, I'm kind of noticing here, John, that these meters actually, they feel rugged. They have what's almost like a rubber coating on the outside of them, and they feel like I can throw it clear across the room, which, can I do? Or? You can do it anything you want. Am I liable if I hit somebody out there? <laughs> I wouldn't it's do called that. rubberized armor, is really what we're talking about. It's an over-molded system. It feels like rubber. It has a great grip to it. It's a right size type monitor, not too small, not too big. Um, what you'll see with this monitor is that you know we all have potentials as you get older not to see what you're looking at. Um, these, the display digits are extremely big, it's very easy to see. We want to make the buttons with gloved hands, which is kind of unique in our industry because a lot of these instruments just don't have the ability with gloved hands to turn them on and off. In my experience, they've been typically small buttons and you have to remove a glove, which you may not want to do, especially if you're in overhaul situations or confined space. I mean, that's what I'm getting from you here. And, uh, absolutely, and you're doing it with face pieces on, so that's an addition to be able to see it very clearly. Um, it does have a rating for a 10-foot drop. Um, that is very unique in our industry. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could throw it against the wall. It has that kind of durability built into it. Maybe a couple other features, Tom, that I can talk about. Sure, that'd be great. You know, as we go into it, in terms of reliability, we have what's called a triple alarm system. And that triple alarm system really relates to if, if you go into an alarm, you have a high ambient air noise, you'll have a vibration that goes on to you, you'll have an audible, and you also have a visual alarm. It's 360 degrees, so however you're using it, either you or your partner will be able to see that you're in alarm condition. Okay. Also unique, let me tell you a couple other features that are unique, is that we now have motion sensors built into our units as an option, but it's become very popular. Motion sensors, that sounds like something that we have in AirPack technology, which MSA is also at the forefront. And which kind of gives you the feel that because we are at the forefront, we wanted to bring it into portable instrumentation. I think it makes a lot of sense. Confined space monitoring, man down, 
Um, very, very quickly we're able to tell if you're in a motion state, just as your pass unit is on the SCBA, we will go into an alarm level, lock into that alarm level, and then you will be, in that case, it's a man down situation. Well, that, that, that actually sounds particularly interesting to me, John, because a lot of times when we're using these meters, we may not be in our full PPE. And if, yeah, so, and we all know that this happens in the field. So if we get into a situation where we are completely motionless, you're telling us that this is going to now alert us in those three different manners and let somebody know that we're in trouble. And that's exactly right. Perfect way to put it, Tom. Um, it also has one other feature. If you need it to, you're in a confined space or if you're in a hazardous environment, if you're in a hazmat spill type, we can instantly alert all members of the team. It also has a feature called instant alert. And it's simply hitting, pushing the button down. Once it goes down, it'll alert, go into a full DB of 95 decibels at one foot. It's extremely loud alarm, <laughs> alerting everybody in the area that you've had in that particular area because gas is pocket. So you could have, you know, a certain level of gas three feet away and be in a dangerous environment. So now typically we've got a device that was strictly electronic before, something that would give us meter reading, and we've turned it into a safety feature. Exactly right. Exactly That's right. fantastic. Well, I see we've got another one here. Um, this one is probably not familiar to people, so when he's done with this, I, 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 can you tell? I can't wait to get into this one. Tom, you're excited. You are excited. Hey, these are diffusion-type instruments. These are worn to be personally worn instruments. Uh, I see where you're going with this. I noticed something different on this one. I'll let you talk about it in a minute. You, you can see a difference in size between the two monitors. Um, that difference is really a pump-driven instrument. This is uh, called our Altair 5. It's the five portion means that you can have up to five gases. Really what we're seeing in the fire service is it's probably still going to be used as a four gas instrument. That those, those confined space gases we talked about, you can add an additional uh, sensor if you so wish. Pump driven instruments are beautiful in that we can have remote sampling. So we're going to take that toxic gas, that combustible gas, oxygen deficient gas, and draw it over the instrument. We're going to bring it towards the instrument itself. So we can remote monitor through what typically would be a wand with our older meters. How far away can we go, John? Uh, you can go, you know, 80 foot in 15 seconds. So 80 foot. So we could get not only out of the hot zone, but out of the warm zone and be monitoring from that distance. Absolutely. And it's exactly right. So what we've done, the beauty of this a pump-driven instrument is, uh, in technology sakes, is that we're able to get a certain ingress protection rating, a very, very high ingress protection rating with a pump-driven instrument. It's called IP65. What that really does is, again, we're able to get heavy amount of water and dust on this instrument. It keeps on ticking. Um, it has the same features as the other Altair family. Uh, in addition, we have a color metric, a color display. You can either get in a color display or you can get in a black and white display. Um, again, easy to read, extremely durable. It has a six foot drop, which is uh, unusual to have that rating in the, the pump driven instrument. It, it looks like one of my kids' game systems. I mean, it almost looks that easy to use. And, you know, for me, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. When you look at this display, it looks like we're taking it into the, the not only the 21st sec, uh, century, but well, well beyond. A little bit beyond, right? Absolutely. Now, I notice it's, it's blinking green as we're... You know, what we do is we want confidence for that user. So that blinking of that green is nothing more than a confidence light. Every 30 seconds, you're going to have a green light. So a, as a user uses it, um, he's going to be doing other tasks. And as he does those other tasks, he's not always going to look at them at the meter. What that does, it's a confidence light. It'll, it'll beep at you. It'll show green. And you know that the electronics are working. The sensors are working. Okay. Now, something that I, I had a chance to play around with this a little bit before John came over and joined us. And I mean, we all know at Firematic we sell these meters. Uh, it's one of my new personal favorite meters. And I'll tell you why, John. I could for a sec. The thing about this meter out there, everybody's noticed in the past, uh, your four gases, your one gas meters, these meters are, I'm not going to say difficult to use because they're actually very user friendly, uh, but there's a certain knowledge of what buttons you need to push, correct? Now the thing I like about this meter is that if we're looking down, it's almost a computer or a desktop based technology. What we have is a label of the menu on which button to push. I mean, that's got to be a first in the business, isn't it? It's the first that I've seen. It's the Absolutely. first that we've seen. We'll leave it at that. It's but it, it just makes it that much easier for us to use. Incredibly intuitive, absolutely. When it's when it asks you yes, you hit the yes button. It says no, you hit the no button. It's a three button operation. MSA has been doing the same type of button system since 1992 in the confined space laws. 
It is an absolute, uh, intuitive, decision logic driven uh, Very easy to use. Well, it's, it sounds like this is a workhorse, yet another workhorse, something with an internal pump. But what impresses me the most is that we've now, between the partnership with MSA and Firematic, been able to go out and offer our customers a streamlined set of meters that range from, as you mentioned, our single gases and the basic COs up to a four gas, and then of course we expand on out up to a five gas meter. And I'll tell you what, it's just impressing the heck out of me. So uh, I really appreciate you coming in, John. I'm